What is up YouTube Spectacular Spider Grandpa coming back at you with I got some Funko Pops, I got a fucking dollar book haul. Uh met someone very, very, very cool, uh got his autograph, but we'll get into that in a minute. Um we are two hours from the premiere of Blasted or Stash Hit episode, oh I don't know, one hundred and fifty something. Um I Unfortunately, I'm out of work. Uh, my back is fucking killing me. I've been on a heating pad for uh, two days now. Um, I don't know what's going on with it. Here's my heating pad. Let me stick that back. Um, they say I just uh, uh, really sprained it or twisted it really bad. Um, I don't know how I did it. I couldn't get off the couch the other day. Um, they said if it's not better by Monday, uh, come on back and uh, we'll do something. So here we are, Sunday night. I'm still in pain. I'm taking my medication. They gave me a muscle relaxer and uh, some painkillers. Uh, probably go back to the doctor. Tomorrow is my scheduled day off, so I'll probably go back to the doctor tomorrow at some point. Um, see what's going on uh so that being said i was able to do blast it or stash it um of course it's pre-recorded we did it this morning so come check us out uh 10 p.m like i said a couple hours uh i don't know if i'll be in the chat depends if this medication kicks in and it really puts me to sleep so we'll see but yesterday um I had something scheduled at 7 p.m. that I was not going to miss. You probably saw on Facebook um, what it was. I'm not going to uh, spoil it right now, um, but I wasn't missing it for the world. I would You would have to wheelchair me in there um, on crutches with a cane for me to miss this. But before, uh, uh, before that happened, uh, Pocan Joe uh, texted us me and my wife and said hey we're going to the antique mall if you want to join us and we're grabbing something to eat well we needed to get something to eat before the seven o'clock thing uh so we met him at the antique mall of course i was in pain the whole time i uh, wasn't feeling good and uh at the virginia beach antique mall they have tons and tons and tons of long boxes uh to dig through pretty much dollar books uh if you're ever in the Virginia Beach area, uh, get up with me or Pocan, and uh, we'll take you there. It's an amazing place. Just ask him. So these are the dollar books I picked up, and I'm going to run through them real quick. Some of them are not in the greatest shape, but uh, for a buck, I wasn't going to leave them. Uh, here's Suicide Squad uh, number seven uh, from our run. So uh, it is in horrid shape, uh, but no grade is better than low grade. Or low grade is better than no grade. Whatever. You guys get it. Uh, Wolverine number 61. Uh, Textera cover. Wolverine number 144. Uh, I pick these up anytime I see them. This is Marvel Comics versus DC number 2. Remember this, guys? Awesome stuff there. Uh, for my X Factor run, X Factor 51. Uncanny X-Men 339. Right there, my dog just woke up. You probably heard him in the background there. Uh, Marvel Comics Presents, number 57. Uh, I believe this is a Dale Keown cover. I could be mistaken. Uh, George, uh, excuse me, George Perez, Wonder Woman, number 29. I always grab these. You can see uh, cheetah camouflaged in the background there. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, before Watchmen, uh, the comedian number six of six. Silk Spectre number four. Rorschach number three. Uh, Suicide Squad number sixteen. Right there again, guys. These are all uh, look at the damage right there, but it is what it is. Uh, X Men number 165, there, uh, 172. 
some older one incredible Hulk. This is 248. Uh, Blade the Vampire Hunter number 10. Another Incredible Hulk number 259. Uh, Jim Lee cover here, Uncanny X Men 277. It I took it uh, I took replaced the bag and board this morning and it is in really bad shape. You can see the creases right here. It's barely being held on by staples. Um, but uh, I think I already have a, a decent copy of it. I'm not too sure. Uh, Sheena, the official comics adaptation of the smash hit film. Get some old school meat and potatoes right on the front there. Thought that was pretty funny. Picked that up. Uh, Wolverine number 41. There. Um, first printing of X-Men number 36. I believe this is the first appearance of... Uh, Gen X, uh, mistake, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, I know it was around there, uh, here's a second printing of that, Captain America 296, X-Force number 12, for my X-Force run, I always pick up these amalgam comics, of course, this ain't uh, the Wolverine Batman one, but it's Magneto and the Magnetic Men, number one. Uh, Wolverine 63 and 76. Uh, what if uh, Vision of the Avengers had conquered the world for my What If run? Found this and it is beat up. Watchmen number nine. Uh, Doom Patrol number 10. Dazzler number 7. <clears throat> Teen Titans Annual number 1. The new Teen Titans. A little Starfire action here. Meat and potatoes. Throw some barbecue sauce on that piece right there. Go to town. Uh, Uncanny X Men 317. Spawn the Impaler number 3. And this Dark Horse Comics, uh, Alien 6 of 6. And that is it for the books I picked up. Um, did not pick up any Funko Pops at the Antique Mall. Um, so we went out to dinner and uh, ate, some, ate some food real quick. Then we had to jet over to Elevation. I forgot what number, 27 or what. It's a... A concert venue uh, in the, around me and uh, Jeff Hardy of WWE fame, TNA fame, was doing a meet and greet there. Um, this is the opportunity I wasn't going to uh, pass up. Uh, he's one of my favorites. Just kind of started out in the Attitude Era, and I thought he was amazing. So um, I did bring a print for him to sign. Not a print, but a, a photo. And uh, here it is, right there. Sorry about the glare. He signed it. He's got a weird signature. Um, put Triple H, because that's who else is in the picture right here. Triple H, and then he said Hardy. So, um, pretty cool stuff right there. But the best part about it um, was, show you guys. I got his uh, Funko Pop signed by there hopefully one day i will meet um matt hardy so that was pretty cool really nice guy uh took the time out to meet the kids and everything uh took pictures i got a picture with him uh you've probably seen if you're follow me on my facebook or instagram uh the picture of me and jeff hardy so after that uh, my wife <clears throat> wanted to uh go look for a book that just came out not a comic book a novel um and we went she was popping around to various places to uh try to find it and uh, i picked up a few funko pops then as well i picked up ursula from the little mermaid the 30th anniversary one 
one of my favorite Disney movies, and one of my favorite Disney villains. So I grabbed that. Uh, the Target exclusive uh, Patina Spider-Man. Had to grab that. And from the uh, 35th anniversary of Ghostbusters, the new Slimer that came out. He's got all the hot dogs in his mouth. So that is it, guys. Um, I'm in pain. Like I said, two hours before Blast It or Stash It. Um, I'm going to try to make it. If not, enjoy the show. Um, it may be a little bit effed up. Dave was having troubles this morning. I don't know. But I'm going to jump off here. Uh, and I will see you guys next time. I love you all. Thank you all for watching. Y'all be kind to one another.